In business tonight, one of Barbados' most successful locally produced movies is continuing to receive rave reviews from global audiences. Ryan Broom reports. The cast and crew of the popular Keeping Up with the Joneses movie recently reflected on a premiere of the film in the United Kingdom, where it played to sold out audiences. Some of them interacted with fans and the media at the premiere, describing it as a Hollywood type experience. The response was, was just absolutely mind blowing. Um, and it was, it was very heartening to see the diaspora turn out like that to, to, to support um, what is essentially their culture. You know, um, that, was, that, that was very, very pleasing for us. It was surprising to me because I, I didn't expect that at all. I thought it was like, you know, you go to the cinema, you sit down and you watch a movie and you know, that's it. But you know, with the cameras and the, the lights and mm -hmm. people waiting and smiling and happy, it was, <laughs> it was awesome. Other cast members said Barbadians and other Caribbean people living in the UK were happy to see a reflection of home on the big screen. I think what was, what was fascinating was the fact that we had people who were following the sitcom from the Africa Channel, who could tell us about our characters, who could, you know, tease us about um, stuff that was actually happening on the show. So that was great in itself to know that they, um, that they are familiar with the show and they have been following it um, and they're, they're proud to see themselves on television. Yeah eagerly anticipating more. Everybody's asking for more. What are you doing next? What is coming out next? When is it going to be the next movie? Is it going to be another series? Everybody just wants more. Meanwhile, writer and producer of the movie and series, Romel Hall, says Barbados has benefited significantly from the experience. We had people who said by seeing the film that they wanted to come to Barbados. And in the movie itself, there are a lot of scenes where we showed the flora and the fauna of Barbados because we wanted to, and it was done purposely, because we wanted to use it as a tool, and we wanted to show, hey, we could use this as a tool to encourage people to come to Barbados, not just to, to live or to visit, but to work, and to certainly work with us and work with other producers so that we could get the cultural industries moving a little more and continue the cycle. Other members of the technical team said it shows the need to continue producing high quality work. The people really, really enjoyed it, you know? The I mean, their faces were, were, um, were, were lighting up when they saw the actors walk through the door. You know, they enjoy the, the slang, the Bajan dialect, they laugh, you know. And th there's a need out there for, for, uh, for Caribbean content, and we really saw that from our trip. We definitely want to get into the U.S. and Canada to start with, and we want to go through the Caribbean because, I mean, we don't want to forget our own, you know. So the Caribbean, U.S. and Canada, and anywhere that people are, have eyes, and ears to listen, <laughs> we're, we're ready to go there. Ryan Broom, CBC News. We're dead. The Trinidad Cement Limited Group is encouraging government to consider using new concrete road technology as an alternative to traditional asphalt in some cases. According to Aveline Moulou, the group civil engineer for TCL, the new green concrete road technology can bring significant savings of up to 35% compared with traditional asphalt roads. She made the comment at the pacemaking Caribbean Urban Forum 2014 conference at the Acro Hotel and Spa. In Barbados, they have used concrete roads for um I think as far back as 50 to 60 years, if you, look at, if you look at the history of roads. So it's nothing that we will have to reinvent. It's currently used, I think there's a couple roundabouts where it, that section was done with concrete roads and the cost factor is what they look at. Private developers who maintain their own developments tend to go with concrete roads because of the cost savings in the, long, in the life cycle cost analysis in terms of the maintenance. But we have been advocating it um, to the government here. Um, we've met with the Prime Minister. We would be sitting down with him in formal sessions. Now a we'll look at how stocks traded on the exchanges in Barbados and across the region. Mm -hmm.